Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. My name is Christina and today I'm going to guide you through a yoga flow practice. All right, so before we start, all you'll need is your uh, mat and uh, for those who like to use blocks, I'll do some demonstration with the blocks as well. Um, if you don't have blocks, I have a link in my description box and if you're not into just purchasing blocks, you can also just use some books or something that's sturdy and leverages off the floor so you can use that as a support. Awesome. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to have you start on the top of your mat. Last one. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good. On the next inhale, you extend your arms overhead into mountain pose. Palms together, fingertips reaching up towards the sky. And again, you want to keep a nice aligned spine. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Reach for your toes. Your feet are hip distance apart. You can feel your feet again grounded. You relax your head. Good. You want to inhale. You can place your hands, your finger pods onto the ground, or you can place your hands on the outside of your feet. And then exhale, release. Good. And inhale, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, head last. Extend the arms overhead. Look at your palms. Open up. Feel your chest. Suck in the lower belly, navel into the spine. Tuck the tailbone under. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Good. We're going to do that again. Inhale, extend the arms overhead. Inner arms in line with your ears. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Place your hands on the outside of the feet. Good. Inhale, half fold. Ardha Uttanasana. You can be on your finger pods or palms onto the mat. Suck in the lower belly. You're lifting through the navel um, and your shoulders away from your um, neck here. So navel in towards the spine. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Drop the head. So crown the head down. You feel the extension through your spine. And then slowly roll up on an inhale. One vertebrae at a time. Extend the arms overhead. Look at your palms. Good. And then exhale. Bring your hands towards your heart. Good. And then bring your feet together. Take a deep inhale. Extend the arms overhead. So it's going to give you a modified version of Samaskar to your Namaskar A. Then take an exhale. Bring your hands on the outsides of the feet here. Inhale. Half fold. Ardha Uttanasana. Good. Exhale. You're going to bend your knees. And bring your right foot back and then bring your left foot back. You are in a high plank. Now for this, you're going to just shift your weight one inch forward. Bend your knees. Good. And then you're going to go ahead, uncurl your toes. Bring your chest down and then go into your shoulder, uh, your upper facing dog. Lift your knees off the mat. Squeeze your glutes, shoulder blades in and down your back. And then exhale, lift your hips up. Bring your hips all the way up and back. Keep your palms planted, straighten out the arms. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to take a deep breath in and exhale. Press away from the mat. Shoulder heads away from the neck. So shoulder blades in and down your back. You want to extend and heel down. So you feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Good. Take a deep inhale. Suck in the lower belly. Keep your arms and your legs nice and engaged. Palms are planted. Keep pressing away from the mat. So your wrists or your forearms away from your wrists. Take a deep inhale and then exhale. Heels down. The last one, deep breath in and deep breath out. Good. You're going to bend your knees and then look up. Bring your feet towards your hands. If you have a right over left or left and right. Inhale, half fold, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Drop your head. Good. Inhale, slowly roll up. Head last. And extend the arms overhead. You're going to look at your hands. Good. And navel into spine. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Now extend the arms again. Feel nice and tall. Extending through the fingertips, rooting down your, your feet. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold, open up the chest. Shoulders away from the neck. Suck in the lower belly. 
Exhale, bend your knees, palms down. Bring your right leg and then your left, or your left and right. You're gonna shift your weight forward one inch, and then you're gonna bring your knees down, chest down, chin down, uncurl your toes, up into upper facing dog. Shoulders away from the neck, squeeze your glutes when you think tailbone down as you lift your chest and your navel up towards your rib cage. Keep your palms planted, exhale, Go into your downward dog. So you're gonna press your hips up and back. You're gonna get your inner thighs towards the back of the room. You're gonna keep your palms planted, forearms away from the wrist. Keep your arms nice and strong and engaged. Shoulder heads away from the neck. You wanna seal the heels down. Take a deep breath in and an exhale. Bring your heels down towards the mat. If they don't get there, it's okay. You can bring your um, your uh, downward dog a little closer, right? You can try and get your heels down. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, hips up and back. Good, last one, deep inhale and exhale. Good, you're gonna bend your knees, look up. You can hop your feet towards your hands, lift your hips up, right by your feet or your hands. Inhale into half fold, our Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head. Good, inhale, circle those arms all the way up. Palms together, look at your fingertips. Exhale, bring your hands toward your heart. Good, now we're gonna go right into chair pose. We call this Ukatasana. Inner arms in line with your ears. So you wanna look down towards the mat at the floor. I'm gonna think navel into spine, extending arms overhead. Good. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold. Good, exhale, you're gonna bend your knees, put your palms down. We're gonna bring our right foot back. So this is going to be um, Sierra Namaskar B. I'll give you a modified version. Good, so now we're in Warrior One. We will call Virabhadrasana One. Good, if you want, you can look at your fingertips. Good, exhale, forward fold. I'm gonna spin on the ball of that back foot. Now, this is when you can use your blocks too, also, right? Place your front foot to meet your back foot for those who, need, who want to use the blocks. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, or bend your knees. Go into modified version. Inhale, upper facing dog, open up the chest. And then exhale, curl your toes under. Lift those hips up and back. So now this version, I'm just using the blocks. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. You wanna punch your palms into the top of the blocks and your fingertips out wide. You wanna grip the, the blocks with your palms. Good, inhale through the nose and then exhale. Inhale through the nose and exhale. Good, last one, deep breath in and deep breath out. Good. Usually you do the left foot back first, but we did the right foot back. This time we're gonna bring your left foot forward. Or actually, here we go. We're gonna bring our right foot forward, left foot back. Good. And you're gonna inhale, extend the arms overhead into your warrior one. So you're gonna think tailbone going down towards the mat, navel into spine, extend the arms overhead. Straighten out that back leg, keep that knee bent, on top of the ankle, right? Good, and if you want to, rise the elbows, you can look up at your hands, exhale, forward fold. This time I'm not gonna use the blocks, you're gonna spin on the ball of the back foot, go into your low lunge, bring your right to meet your left, then move this out the way, inhale, shift your weight forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upper facing dog, and then exhale, downward dog. Good, take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, keep pressing away. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Last one, deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, you're gonna bring your feet together, heels down, 
You're gonna feel that stretch in your legs and keep your arms extended. You're gonna extend the left, the left leg up. Keep your hips square. Now you're gonna open up that hip, bend that knee. Good, and then come back, square the hips, extend that leg. Good, as much as you can. Very good. Toes, and then the thighs up and back. Good, you're gonna bring your knee in towards your chest. Very good. You're gonna go ahead and bring your foot in between your hands. Good. Now you're gonna go ahead and bend that back knee, uncurl your toe. Inhale, extend the arms overhead in this Anjanasana, right? Good. You're gonna open up the chest, extend through the spine. Exhale, you're gonna bring your right hand down on the outside of the left foot and take that left arm and twist, open up the chest. Good, suck into the lower belly, take a deep breath here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale through the nose. You wanna think hips forward and down, exhale. Good, last one, deep inhale and exhale. Good, you wanna come back to center. Curl that back toe under. Lift those hips up and back. I mean, lift that back leg straight. Good, you're gonna bring your back front foot to meet your back foot. Good, you're gonna go ahead, shift your weight forward, bend that knee. Chest towards the floor, chin down, bring your legs down. Inhale into upper facing dog. Good, exhale, come to your downward facing dog. Good, you're gonna bring your feet together, bring it back. Inhale, now we're gonna go ahead and do our right leg lifts. Good, you're gonna open up the hip, bend that knee, feel that stretch in your inner thigh. You're gonna go ahead and rotate that hip back to square and then extend that leg all the way up and back. Good, you're gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest. Very good, press away from the mat. Strong arms, bring your right foot in between your hand. Good. And you're gonna seal that back heel down. Then actually, you're gonna bring your knee down, uncurl your toe, inhale, extend the arms overhead. I almost got it mixed up. <laughs> inhale through the nose, open up the chest. Good, hips forward and down. Good, exhale, come all the way back down. Good, you're gonna go ahead, keep your hips forward and down. You might even scoot your knee back a little bit more. You're gonna twist, open up the chest. Good, take a deep breath in, suck in the lower belly and twist. Inhale through the nose and exhale, twist. Good, last one, deep breath in and exhale, twist, hips forward and down. Feel that stretch. Good, come back to center. You wanna curl that back toe under, lift that back leg, straighten it out. Bring your right knee to your left. Good, nice and strong high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. You're gonna bend your knee, bend your elbow, chest first, chin down, bring your feet down into upper facing dog. And then exhale, come into downward facing dog. Good. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, inhale through the nose and then exhale. <clears throat> Last one, deep inhale and deep exhale. This time we're gonna go a little faster with the flow. It's gonna be a, be a breath with each movement. So you're gonna bring your feet together. Good, inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, open up the hip. Inhale, come back, square the hips. Exhale, bring your knee in towards your chest. Place your foot down. Good, bring your knee down. Uncurl your toes, inhale, open up the chest, Anjanasana. Exhale, come all the way down. Place your left arm and twist, open up the chest. Good, exhale, bring that hand down. Curl your back toe under, straighten out that back leg. Bring your back foot to meet your front. Shift your weight forward, bend your knees, chest, chin, feet down, open into upper facing dog. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Good, I'm gonna do the other side, bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your leg up. Open up that hip, bend that knee. Come back, square the hips. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Place that right foot down. 
Bend that knee, back knee, uncurl your toes. Inhale, extend your arms overhead. Exhale, come all the way back down. Inhale, extend and twist. Good. Exhale, come back down. Curl your back toe under, straighten out that back leg. Bring your front foot to meet your back foot. Shift your weight forward, bend the knee, chest, chin down, open up the chest. Upper facing dog, exhale down, facing dog. Good. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Inhale through the nose and then exhale. Good. Last one. Deep breath in and exhale. Let's see if you remember. We're going to do it one more time. Bring your feet together. Inhale, extend the leg. This is the left leg. Open up the hip, bend the knee. Come back to center, square the hips, extend the leg. Bend that left knee in towards your chest. Place your left foot down. Curl that back toe, I mean that back toe under. It's curled under, but bend that knee. Uncurl the toe. Inhale, extend the arms, Anjanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Take the left hand and twist. Open up the chest. Exhale, come back to center. Curl your back toe under, straighten out that back leg. Bring your front foot to meet your back foot. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, bend your knees, chaturanga, chest, chin, down with the feet. Open up the chest, upper facing dog. Shoulder you away from the neck, right? Exhale, come back into downward dog. Good, ooh, I'm sweaty. Let's do that last one. Bring your feet together. Extend that right leg up. Open the hip, bend that knee, heel the butt. Now come back, square the hip, extend that leg. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Bring your right foot in between your hands. Seal that back knee down onto the ground. Uncurl your back toe, inhale into Anjanasana. Open up the chest, exhale forward fold. Clench your left hand, extend the right, open up the chest. Good, exhale, come back. Curl your back toe under, straighten out that back leg. Bring your right to meet your left. Inhale, shift your weight forward. And you're gonna bring your knee down, chest, chin, toes down, extend into upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, inhale through the nose and exhale. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Good, you're gonna come and do a little cat motion here and then bend your knees, go into cow. Good, open up the chest, shoulders away from the neck and you're gonna go back into that cat, the chin and chest, tuck the tailbone under, inhale, come back into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Good. And then come back to center. You want to go into child's pose. Good. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good, you're gonna come back to all fours. You're gonna come and sit on your butt here. All right. All right, here we go. You can go ahead and lean it back. You're gonna lift your legs into Navasana, boat pose. Good. And you're gonna try your best. You wanna do some core stuff. Bring it down. You wanna like hoover into the lower back and then bring it back up. Woo. We got four more. Round, tuck the tailbone under towards your heels and then lift it back up. Nice. Bring it down, tailbone tucked under and then lift it back up. Ooh, two more, give me two more. Good, and then lift it back up. Last one. And then lift it back up. All right, and then you can come down. Woo, and extend the arms. Overhead, good, relax your shoulders. 
Good, take a deep inhale. And then in exhale, feel your whole spine melting down into the mat. Good, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna bring your knees in towards your chest. Good, we're gonna rock side to side. Relax your shoulders. Good, we're gonna go ahead and grab your toes. Peace sign finger, happy baby. And then hook onto your big toe. Extend the legs out. Good, breathe here. You can go rock side to side. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Stick your tongue out, let it go. Cleansing breath. <sighs> yeah, inhale through the nose and exhale. <sighs> Last one, deep breath in and deep breath out. <sighs> Good, I'm gonna go ahead and bring your soles of your feet together. Interlace your fingers behind the feet here. We're gonna rock side to side. Good. Just feel your lower back. Relax the back of your head. Good, take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Good, I'm gonna go ahead and bring your knees in and then go right into Shavasana. Extend the legs. Relax your shoulder blades in and down your back. Palms facing up toward the ceiling. Relax every single part of your body. Just feel your whole entire body melting down onto the mat. Relax your lower belly, your shoulders, your head, back of your head, back of your neck, your legs, your heels. Feel your toes soften over the fingers. And just notice your breathing, the inhale and the exhale. Good. You can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a deep inhale and then exhale, release. Good. Then roll onto your right side just to get the circulation back into your body. And you can lift yourself all the way up. Good. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Very good. Thank you so much for joining. I had a great time. I got a good workout and broke a sweat here. And um, come for the next one because I'm gonna do a series of yoga flows. And again, like I said, you can always come back here if you need some ideas for your own self-practice or you can do this whole video step-by-step. Step. And uh, let me know what you think. And please like, share, and comment below. Thank you so much, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.